Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to different methods for abseiling or rappelling from or down a rope using a figure eight descender. Now, in order to do any of these methods, you only need a figure eight descender. You don't need this kind with the ears. The rescue eight. You don't need a rescue eight. You can use any figure eight descender. Now, um, the first method is to take a bite of rope like this and to bring it through and then with your carabiner um, going to connect to it like that and this is the least amount of friction or the, or the option with the least amount of friction that I'm about to show you obviously you want to close this and so this is one method of using the figure eight to descend and it's a popular one. Now, one way to add a little more friction into the system is to take the rope and basically put a twist like this into the rope and then feed that through the bottom and then here you go. You have now the same system, relatively speaking, but with a crossover here. And this will add um, desirable rope on rope friction. And because the rope is constantly moving over itself as you descend, um, it, the rope on rope friction is unlikely to damage your rope very much because the heat will dissipate quickly because it's not in any given area for very long. Um, so there's that. Now, another thing worth mentioning is that in my previous video, I showed that the best way to attach a figure eight descender is by taking a bite of rope, bring it through the bottom, and then round the bottom like this. And there's nothing, you know, wrong with this. This is a proper way to use it. And I think a lot of people use it this way. But the only downside is if you were to ever have it come in contact with something like a rock wall or um, a trunk from a tree or anything for that matter where you know pressing against this with your body weight it could keep this in place and prevent it from doing its job it could keep the rope from moving through the device and in order to keep that from happening a good way to learn how to um, use the device is this way and what you want to learn is that in order to prevent yourself from losing any equipment you always make sure that your figure eight descender is clipped in to your harness when you're using it and never just out loose and then that way you can attach a rope this way by pulling the rope through a bite like this and then bringing it over the end of the device and then now that the rope is holding the device and keeping it from falling you can take this off and then you can twist this around like that and lo and behold you have essentially the same setup just mirrored and this is not any harder to use 
this is just as effective and I think a lot of people prefer it because you have less of a chance of getting anything caught up against anything else while you're hanging from it. Okay, what else can you do with this setup? Another good reason to use your device in this orientation is that you can open up your carabiner and you can take the brake end and put it through like this. You always want it coming out to the right, never to the left, and I'll show you why. The reason is because if you have it um, coming out to the left, if you were to lock it and then you had all this rope running through it, oops, um, you would effectively, I'm trying to show you, you would effectively unlock your carabiner and that's not good. Um, so if you have it in the opposite orientation, then hopefully you have it closed first, but it will lock the carabiner. Hopefully you saw that. Um, so that's a good thing to know. Um, it's important to learn that. Uh, so next, you can take, and this is one of the final methods of attaching yourself. You can go and go back to what we did to begin with and bring it, take a bite and bring it through and then you can connect like you did in the first one and you can instead of adding friction you know with the device or this other carabiner you can actually attach um, another carabiner to your bridge or to whatever you are using oops excuse me I put that in wrong and have it connected to your bridge or to your belay loop, whatever you're using for a harness, and you can add friction that way. Um, so this is a great method. It should be noted that you can, if you need even more friction, you can do the second method that I showed you and bring it through like that with a cross through it do like this and then you can add even more friction. So yeah, that is several different methods for belaying or abseiling, excuse me, um, and rappelling using a figure eight descender. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, please consider hitting like um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you uh, enjoy my content, 
please consider subscribing and comment if you have any. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.